Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So we are discussing MVIC test. Okay, so this is the third video where we are going to cover bogus prosecure test. Okay, and the VI in this test group it stands for bogus prosecure. Okay, so it is a biochemical process which is used to detect neutral end product that is acetyl methyl carbinol or it is also known as acetoin which is produced from the glucose fermentation okay so if the bacteria is able to produce acetyl methyl carbinol and if it is present then what happens the acetyl methyl carbinol or the acetoin it is converted to diacetyl in the presence of alpha naphthol and strong alkali that is 40 percent koh okay potassium hydroxide and in presence of oxygen it gives ruby pink color and that is how we detect or we say yes the vi test is positive okay so the basic biochemistry behind this test is glucose is converted to by pyruvate and then it is converted to acetoin and that is the butendiol fermentation where 2,3 butendiol is the end product okay so this is the pathway that is actually the bacteria which is able to produce acetoin it follows now the glucose by emp pathway is converted to pyruvic acid then the pyruvic acid it is converted to acetoin by the butyl uh, butylin glycol pathway or butendiol pathway okay so when we add potassium hydroxide that is the strong alkali 40 percent koh what happens acetoin is oxidized or the oxidation uh, reaction it takes place and it is converted to diacetyl okay then when we add alpha naphthol then in presence of arginine or uh, i guess guanidine the condensation reaction takes place and in presence of a compound which has this uh, amino acid the condensation reaction takes place and because of that you get ruby pink colored polymer okay and that is what we uh, are looking for in this test and if you get this particular ruby pink colored um, color change then it is considered as positive okay after adding alpha naphthol now to intensify the color creatine is added okay so creatine plus diacetyl it also follows condensation reaction and what happens it intensifies this color okay so that's the vp test now for this test the media that we use is mrvp broth the same broth that we use for methyl red test as well okay so after inoculation and incubation the same broth you can uh, divide it into two test tubes so you can take aliquots and you can proceed for MR test and VP test at same point okay so about the MR VP broth so it has around 6.9 to 7 pH and the in ingredients are buffered peptone 7 grams glucose 5 grams and dipotassium phosphate 5 grams okay then about the Voges Prosker reagent now that is also known as Barrett's reagent it has two parts that is A and B A part has alpha naphthol that is 5% which is made in absolute ethanol okay and B, re B reagent has potassium hydroxide the strong um, alkali that we are using in this particular test now to intensify color some of the uh, institutes they follow adding 0.5% of creatine now not necessarily you are taught this also in your practicals but just remember if you have this in your part in your practical as uh, one of the part where you are adding the creatine to intensify the color then you can get a question in viva that what is the role of creatine okay so creatine it acts as a color intensifier and it is made by adding 0.5 grams of creatine in 100 ml of distilled water okay just that simple now about the procedure so first the test organism is grown in MRVP broth. Now always remember while performing biochemical test we use freshly grown 18 to 24 hours old culture okay, to get accurate uh, results or precise results. Then we incubate after inoculation we incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours and after incubation we take aliquot of broth say 2 ml and you re-incubate your remaining broth. Okay then add six drops of alpha naphthol and you mix well okay you need to aerate your uh, broth so that the alpha naphthol reacts very well 
with the um, acetone okay then add two drops of 40 percent potassium hydroxide now potassium hydroxide we had seen this in the reaction that it converts the acetone into di um, diacetyl okay so diacetyl will react with the 5 percent of alpha naphthol and it will give us the color change okay so the color change should be observed within 30 minutes and if you get pink red color at the surface then it is interpreted as positive okay so this is about the VP test. Now about the positive um, organisms which show the positive reaction. So the examples are Listeria, Enterobacter, Klebsiella, Cerasia, Marcesins, Vibrio Altor and Viridens group of Streptococci. Negative reaction is shown by Streptococcus mitis, Citrobacter, Shigella, Ersinia, Salmonella, Vibrio vulnificus and Vibrio parahemolyticus. Okay. So Three or four examples are mentioned here so i guess you can remember at least two and this can help you for your viva okay so i hope the test is clear the concept is clear so the basic or some probable questions on this particular test are like name the media and reagents used in vp test then example of vp positive organism then what is the color change that is observed for positive reaction role of creatine in vp test and VP test it detects what production of what is detected in Voges Prasker test that is what are the viva questions so I hope the concept is clear to you all do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified on each new video that I upload okay thank you for watching